हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू ड्रेस माय क्राफ्ट यूट्यूब चैनल आई एम डिजाइन टीम मेंबर कनिका जैन एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई शाल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट द ड्रेस माय क्राफ्ट बैनर पंच एंड डिफरेंट वेज टू यूज इट बट बिफोर मूविंग फॉरवर्ड मेक श्योर यू सब्सक्राइब टू आवर चैनल एंड एज वेल टर्न ऑन द बेल नोटिफिकेशन सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्ट सो दैट्स हाउ द बैनर पंच लुक्स लाइक इट कैन कट अप टू टू पॉइंट फाइव इंचज बैनर टैग्स so here you can see three measurements are mentioned so as per these three measurements you can see here the slots so you can align your card stock or paper and then simply cut it out the best part about this punch is that on the back side you can see these three anti slippery pads so whenever you keep it on your mat and you just need your one hand and you can easily punch these through it works very much smoothly and that's how you work with this banner punch make sure you are watching this full video as i'll be showing a lot of inspiration and as well we'll be creating a lot of things so to start off here i have this cute little tag which i created so here you can see that's how it looks and with the banner punch my work was easy as i got the crisp banner look here i have this another tag which i created and can you see on the borders i have used the daisy border punch to embellish it even further here i have this birthday card and can you see those cute little banners which i have trimmed off to create the embellishments on the back side here i have another happy anniversary card and for the main focal point i have cut off my pattern paper to look like that and it looks beautiful and here i have another card and can you see on both the sides i have used the banner punch so stay tuned i will be showing how to use the banner punch in a lot of different ways so now let's get started with the tutorial here i am using the pastel yellow card stock from dress my craft and here it is and i'll be using my dress my craft paper trimmer to trim off the card stock so here i am just trimming off the card stock to the size 2.5 inches and then i will be further trimming it down and we'll be creating bookmark so here i'm trimming off to the size 4 inches and then with the leftover card stock i am trimming it off randomly to different sizes so i can tell you that it cuts up to 2.5 inches so it doesn't have to be 1 inch 1 and 1/2 inch or 2 inch or 2 and 1/2 inches it can be any random size as well and i'll tell you how you can do that so now let's start with the smallest size so here that's how the smallest size looks like and while you insert it you need to make sure you're inserting in the center so what i do is for my smaller card stocks i use the back side like here can you see i have used the back side for that card so what i do is i insert the paper i eyeball the center and then i simply trim it off or else you can simply insert the paper like this and simply punch it out like this and you get a perfect punch so here i have a 2.5 inch card stock so here you can see that it matches perfectly and simply i can punch it out and here i have a perfectly trimmed paper so it doesn't matter what size it is up to 2.5 inches you can trim off any of the paper earlier when we used to use scissors we didn't used to get the perfect banner shape that is we get sometimes one side is longer and we used to struggle so this banner punch is perfect so here i'm using my dress my craft mini scoreboard and i'm aligning the paper and i'm marking at 1 inches like this so as we are making bookmark so i am marking it at 1 inches and folding it out and then using my teflon bone folder i am creasing it down nicely and then i'm again scoring it down so that i can get a little bit of dimension like this and later on i decorated it and can you see that mini banner on to which it's written believe so again i use the banner punch for that matter and a quick and easy bookmark is ready 
now let's move on to another thing so similarly i have created this small banner but scored on one side only and this is the best way to use your paper scraps to create embellishments so here i have these letter cutouts so for that i have used the trust my craft die i'll show you in a while so that's the basic designer dies capital alphabets it's a set of 26 dies and using that i have die cut using my easy cuts machine all the letters which i wanted so i am making a love banner this can be used as a cake topper as well so what i did is instead of using just one die cut i have stacked up four similar letters to give it a little bit of dimensional look and here i am going to simply complete it out as well using this banner punch you can create a lot of embellishments like you can create your own flags so here i'm using the satin ribbon twine from dress my craft and i simply align it like this and our cake topper is ready you can use this as well to create your cards suppose that's my card base so i can simply hang it out or as well you can use this in your scrapbooks or albums so the uses of this banner punch is amazing and you can do a lot of things with this banner bun you can as well create a mini name wall hanging using the banner punch it is one of my favorite punches to work with as you can use this in a lot of different ways so i hope you enjoyed watching this tutorial see you soon until next time till then happy crafting